this right behind me is Kingsborough Community College. It is in the Sheepshead Bay section of Brooklyn in New York City. This is where I started my college education, where I took computer science, thinking I was going to be big and bad and a CEO of, I don't know, something, and making $200,000 a year. Well, if you have been watching this channel for any kind of time, you know none of that happened. Instead, this is where I started my, well, long-term financial foolishness. And that's what this video is about. What's up, Fricklin and the rest of the world watching? It's Irene here. And today's video is off the farm. It is off the farm completely. I considered doing a different channel for these types of videos because this is going to be a long term series for me. However, I decided that as human beings, we have different interests, we have different things going on in our lives, and I don't really want to compartmentalize myself. So here we go with a completely off the rack video. As you saw in the beginning, I went to school um, many years ago. I actually graduated in 2009. I graduated in 2009 with a BA in English with the intent to go to grad school to get my degree for teaching. I wanted to be a, an adjunct professor at a university or a teacher in the public school system. However, once I graduated, I decided I didn't want to do that. In the time I started school and finished school, and by the way, I changed my major like four or five times. I changed schools like four or five times. I started in 1994. I didn't finish until 2009. That's 15 years of me back and forth trying to go to school, taking out loans for every bit of it, taking out too many loans, too much money, because I wanted to live off of it. It was just, I was just, guys, I was so foolish. I was so dumb. I made such poor decisions. Come back to the, today, um, I'm 45 years old. I have no money in retirement. I have no money in savings and I owe a lot of money. January 1st, 2020, I owed $91,819.03 for a bachelor's degree that literally cost about $25,000. But listen, I did it. I did not make good decisions. I didn't take responsibility for it. And then after 2009, I let it sit in forbearance for 10 years. Oh God, help me. The past few months I've really been researching my finances, trying to figure out what I can do to make my future brighter. Uh, I have about 20 years before I'm supposed to allegedly retire and I have nothing to retire on. And on top of that, I have this major debt. I have a plan, a goal, a, a promise to myself to pay off my student loans. So I have a goal to pay off my student loans before my 50th birthday. So that is four years, seven months, and 12 days from today. So my plan is multifaceted. First part is to reduce the expenses that I don't ha have to spend. Don't re reduce the money I don't have to spend, okay? Second is to increase my income. And third is to be consistent. I'm gonna go into each of those in separate videos in the very near future, literally in a few days. But I wanna go over the overall plan. So like I said, on January 1st, 2020, I owed $91,819.03. However, this year I've been paying a little bit. Loans are automatically in forbearance again. As you guys know, uh, we're in a pandemic and the loans don't start getting repaid. Mine doesn't start getting repaid until November. I paid in January, I paid in February. I did not pay March, April, or May. Dummy. But in June, I smartened up. I started making a small payment payments. And then July came and I got what Dave Ramsey would call gazelle intense. I started working a few side hustles, making some extra income, and I've 
paid this month $879.03. So as of right now, July 27th, I owe $90,340. So I have dropped that loan quite a bit, over $1,000 since January. Doesn't seem like much, but it's better than zero, which is everything I've done from December 31st, 2019 and prior. So there you go. I obviously can do it and I'm going to do it. Let me show you my board. Okay, so here is my Irene, what the F were you thinking board. As you can see, I have a total of four loans. The first two are consolidated. The bottom two are for the grad school classes I took. So I'm using the debt snowball approach, which is when you list your um, expenses, your bills, largest amount to smallest, and you attack the smallest one first. Now the reason that we use this process is because it has a really big emotional uh, toll. As you see the smaller numbers disappearing, you start to feel like, yeah, I can do this. It gives you the motivation to be more consistent with it. There is another process, however, called the debt avalanche, where you list them out by highest in, uh, interest rate and then pay those off first. However, for mine, I'm actually doing both because my smallest uh, loans have the highest interest. So on the board, I not only have the balances, I have the total here, but you can see $90,340. I have my last payment, which was today. I have the date, obviously, of the last payment, and the total amount I paid in the month, $879.03. Also on the board, I have my goal date, I have these paid, and the countdown, four years, seven months, and 12 days today and the last thing I have on this is my August goal for payment and that's twelve hundred dollars right now I both hate this board and love this board so as you can see I've already started with the payments am I going to be successful at this goal I'm telling you I'm gonna put my best effort in because once this is paid I can start going intense on my savings side note dave ramsey if you're watching this you may want to turn this off because i know this does not follow your plan while i'm paying this off as much as i can i'm actually going to be adding money to my savings as well it's not going to be a large amount because obviously my priorities are on the debt but i can't just have my emergency fund in my account that's just crazy a thousand dollars is just nowhere near enough so i'm going to make small contributions to my savings fund and this way if anything does happen i'll be covered for it so that's the journey in a nutshell if you're interested in following my journey if you're on your own journey and need some accountability partners let's all join this together there's i know a lot of us with this heavy load of debt be it student loan debt car debt house debt whatever it is we most of us have some form of it and paying it down getting really intense about getting rid of it completely is absolutely exciting horrifying scary and stressful at times but we are in this together and we can all do it i'm going to be posting videos regarding this at least every two weeks when I get paid so I can show you guys my paycheck budgeting. So that's all I've got for you today, guys. I hope you found this video inspiring and motivational to go on your own debt-free journey for whatever it is. If you did, hit the like button. If you're on your own journey now or you wanna start one, hit the subscribe button because I'm gonna be showing lots of tips on how to do this. Or if you just wanna follow the craziness of paying down this massive debt as a single female just hit the subscribe button because it's not going to be boring not at all i'm going to go into my side hustles which are going to increase my income i'm going to go into my expenses i'm going to go into all of it detail 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 so make sure you hit that notification button so you don't miss a single video and if you're on a journey in the middle right now 
post down below where you started, where you are now, and what your goal date is to be done by that. And that's it. I will catch you guys in a few days all on the rebound, y'all. Love you. Peace out.